guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another Star Trek The Next Generation build, the USS Enterprise NCC 1701-D by Eagle Moss Hero Collector. Now we're up to Magazine 4, which means it's the third delivery. We've got some freebies, which is a mug, I've already showed you that. And we have Part 11, Structure and some Lighting, 12, more Supports and some windows, 13 more structure and a big red, ooh, hello, and 14 more structure and some, okay, don't know, and some more lights, cool, okay. So, we're gonna put these to one side for a moment or two, and we'll have a look at the magazine while we're here well, we're not really busy doing anything, so we have a nice another picture of the Enterprise as we could do in it. You can tell on parts here that's a little part that will go the same as the phaser arrays on the back of it we just did on the last episode. It's a big square stand. Okay. Well, we'll get around to that one month, shall we? Unless I give up with this completely. <laughs> no, we shouldn't anyway. So we've got parts for part 11, so we've got structure... Yeah, and lights and screws, 12 supports, that and that, it's more structure, more structure, so we're still building on the saucer then. I wonder if these are the, the windows for the back of the back of the neck that we just did in the last one. I was hoping that it, it wouldn't be individual windows. They, they, they do actually look like it. Hmm, okay. And two lights. Ah, I think it is. Hello. Yes, we do. Do thank, thank the Eagle Moss, thank Ben Robinson for for doing that because that would have been an absolute nightmare and putting all those little holes in there, little windows in. So, yeah, assembly. We'll get around to that. So we we'll do more of the neck and add in a part on there. Then we're doing the other side lights. Yes, yeah, so that's twelve. D. Oh, I've got more on the support on the saucer. Thirteen. Oh, it's the um, the main impulse engine. Cool. And more on the saucer. 14 structure on the saucer and... Is that the impulse engine again? Why is there two... No. Looks like that's just the housing that you screw in place. Because it is there. There's look like the bottom where the lights are, what we're going to be putting in there and there. Ah, we're going to be testing too. Cool. Yeah, because you've got the engine there as well. Looks like it's red. That's what the red part was, the impulse engine. Cool. So, we're still going through, looks like we're still going through episodes in these instead of doing any sort of review on the model. It's going to be an absolute nightmare trying to get 120 magazines with... Actually, one hundred twenty magazines. There's four issues, so one hundred twenty divided by divided by yeah, it's sixty thirty magazines. What? That it? Yeah, thirty magazines full of goodies. So you're gonna get thirty magazines doing all the concept art. It's a shame if they didn't, but never mind. That's just me liking concept art. But we're doing to do with the actual episodes in these anyway. So they've branched out. I love the way that the Stargaze was NCC seventy one hundred. And you've got one seven oh oh, but um, yeah, interesting kit. But it's it's a very added on from the refit constitution, and then it came to be two five nine oh, burn with a soldering iron. Oh, that's just just wrong. Getting the effect, and that was that paint effects, but they're also doing physical effects as well. Cool, hide and cue. It's a good episode. <laughs> it's quite funny how now looking back at it, uh, then that was the actor who played the older Wesley. Doesn't look anything like Will Whedon. Haven. That was a kind of fun episode. Trillion ship. Oh, it was those with when came with the disease. Okay, so they expanded on the ship there. Big goodbye. Dixon Hill episode. Yeah, kind of a break from the norm with that, which is nice that they did something like that. I mean, you have holodeck episodes, which is great. We, we've never seen them before, but it's kind of... sitting in a special where they all play a different character or something, then, yeah, fine. We can see more character development and newer ways around doing things. 
So, oh yeah, so this, this series doesn't really get so stale. You can change the format a little bit. So we have now stage 11. Come through the magazine, let's open up stage 11 for parts. So we have structure, plastic, light, and a piece of cardboard which says number 11 on it. Let's put that there for a bit. So, okay. Out and out. We've got some screws. We've got BP, BM. That's something we're having a lately, anyways. BPs and BM. Plastic and metals. Two lots of lights, different colours on those. Okay, so red, black, yellow, green, and we have red, blue, black, yellow. So it looks same. There might be different colours. I don't know. But we'll be we'll testing these later anyway. So let's get a stage. 11 assembly. Oh, we're back on the neck again. Look, I didn't put this away last time. I've been laying on the on the desk doing nothing. So we have... Okay, so that is 11B, is it? I'm so glad that this is one piece. This will go in one way. Oh, look at that. That's really, really nice. Some dark, some not. Looks like there's not pushes in a little bit actually same as these windows did push in a little bit so that's that and I'm not going through the instructions you can read that from there if you were wanted to anyway I'm sure so we would need that but we'd also need is it that one the green that hasn't got a green on at all is it so I can see the green green and yellow is one light which is the top one Da, 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 da. Why is that one right angled up? And that one's straight. Because you've got these support parts there, which will screw onto something else at a later date. So that will go there. So the yellow one will go, yellow and green light will go into the top one. Uh, so they just don't. That's a bit fiddly. They don't hold in place, which is a shame, but that goes that way and then goes up, yes? There's no holding, oh there is, it's there, holding. I was say there's no support holding the bottom of it. I can see there's two screw holes there, which are at an angle, but there's bottom as well. So the, why has that got a black and yellow? Have I got the wrong ones? Actually, no, have I? Does this matter which one you use? is the question now for me. So we have a yellow and green and we have a black and yellow, which is on this one. Okay, I need to use both different types. Let me check on the opposite corner one for next episode. Black and red, blue and red. Yeah, so we need to use both lights on this. Oh, jeez. Right, okay. These other ones are in the way at the moment. So let's sit that over there. So we use on the top the green and yellow. That one there will probably go over to that side for this light as well then. That's what I'm guessing that. Right. So to hold in place, put it over, screw in possibly. They do pop out, so that's what's awkward about this. I can get that it over and then hold in place and just hold it on and screw it in place, which I can't see being a problem. It does go over to that one and covers where the light's going to be for the other side. But these will all be bent back anyway. So then the second one does need to be... Is it the blue and yellow? It's the black and yellow, which is this one. Oh. <sighs> Awkwardness now means it's going to be easier early, later. Earlier. Mm. I think I need to get something screwed in place. That doesn't line up right. Now it wants an angle. That's better. So that wants to be an angle. So I can just put that in and bend up at the moment. Yeah, that's fine. So that just wants to screw it in place. One, two, three, four. And get back to me in a second when I've got that done. Done. <clears throat>
<clears throat> done and sorted. Green and yellow is on the top, and then the black and yellow is on the bottom. Yeah, granted it goes yellow-black, but I've got well, black yellow on the thing, but I've put it the way around. It doesn't really matter. It's only it's here, it's a little bit wobbly, but it is nipped into place a little bit, so it's not should not fall out and out of the way of the screws from there. So these two will obviously go on the opposite corners, then the Potentially lights go down here. I, well, we'll see when we get around to this one later on. It looks like that might be number 12. So, there, done screw, 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 the plastic ones done all in place. So it looks like that. It's so easy enough, it's just getting used to how these things go. So it's fine at the moment. So, what we need to do now is. Oh, where is it? Back to structure, I wish they would do one part at a time. They're kind of doing front, back, and they, they must, they're must trying to do two parts at once, which is a bit weird. So, we are slowly but surely building this thing, but it is very slowly and surely. So you get the original, what's constructed now for your saucer, keep the edge, it's the same as this side here, there's a cut out there, for whatever part. I mean, is this the front and these, this isn't as big as we think? Hmm. It's big enough, but it does look like it's the front, all the front section of the Galaxy class now. I mean, there's some levels with this. It's kind of a shame that we can't actually choose the name. If you wanted the Yamato, or they wanted the Galaxy, or or any other ships that have had the... Um, I thought the one was in Deep Space Nine that got destroyed by the Jemadar. But there must be a lot of Galaxy classes. So that goes over there, goes into the original... ones we got from the last one, the supports underneath, so four screws, holes in place. One, two, three... See, once you're in a rhythm on this, it, it kind of goes quite well, and this screwdriver is so shockingly bad. One more screw. It's not magnetic too much, but it's, it's enough. The metal screws, I've got a thinner thread than the other. See there now, I do I can see that being the front with the yeah, the Enterprise NTC 1701 on the front. Can see that you have another screw there. BM goes in the bag. So again, I don't have my spare my spares box. So technically, I'm waiting for that, and that would go quite well in there. It is just flat, isn't it? Yeah, that's the front of the ship, or he's in the side of the ship. Mm hmm. We just don't really know yet. So that's that stage done. That's stage 11 completed. Um, I feel this is going to be quite quick for the second part, but I do want to do two parts for this. I don't want to do this all in one go. So I think we'll get this, if this is kind of the way that the format is going, what I'm going to do is this, is have one build, one assembly part, and then we'll end the magazine, and then the other one will be the other three. So I think we'll cut there, because it, it's been pretty easy doing that. It's been a quite quick one for doing this whole lot, but at least to show you the magazine anyway. So with that in mind, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. Carry on following me if you like with, with doing this. We'll get as much done as we can possibly can over the next coming few months or so, when parts start arriving up. There's no delays again. This was this box here, the third delivery, was actually quite quick. But the uh, one before wasn't. But hey ho, that's that's how life goes sometimes. Um, yeah, follow me on social media. Help the channel if you like. There's plenty of links. There's plenty of ways you can help. And yeah, contact me on on any social medias. Join Discord channel. Join me on what? Well, yeah, the links are below. Have a look. I'm gonna bore you to tears with them. So that in mind, I'll see you in the video. Bye for now.